Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Plot the following points and verify if they lie on a line. And if they lie on a line, name it. Let us take a graph paper. Mark x-axis and y-axis. Take the scale 1 cm is equal to 1 unit on x-axis and y-axis. And now let us start plotting our points. We have to plot 0, 2 that means 0 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. Hence we have the point 0, 2. Next we have to mark 0, 5 that means 0 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis that is we have 0, 5. Next is 0, 6 that means 0 on the x-axis and 6 on the y-axis. So we have 0, 6 and lastly we have 0, 3.5 that means 0 on the x-axis and 3.5 on the y-axis. This is 3 and midway is 3.5. So we have 0, 3.5. Now if we join these points, we can see that they lie on a line and that line is actually y-axis. Hence our answer is that all these points lie on a line and that line is called y-axis. In the second part, we have to plot point A, B, C and D. We start with point A. The coordinates are 1, 1. That means 1 on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis. Hence we have A, 1, 1. Next, we have B12, that means 1 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. And we have marked B12. Next is C13, that means x-coordinate 1 and y-coordinate 3. We have C, 1, 3. And lastly we have to mark D, X coordinate 1 and Y coordinate 4. Now we have marked D, 1, 4. Now let us draw a line passing through A, B, C and D. On joining the points, we see that A, B, C and D lie on a line which is parallel to the y-axis and we can name it as AD or we can also say AB. Actually we can name it anyway. We can also call it BD. In the third part of question number 5 we have to plot K, L, M and N. We plot point 1, 3 that is K, 1 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis and mark it as K13. Next we have L23 that means 2 points on the x-coordinate and 3 on the y-coordinate. We get L23. Next is M33 that means 3 on the x coordinate and 3 on the y coordinate we get m 3 3 next is n 4 3 so we have n 4 3 now let us join the points on joining the points we can see that they lie on a line which is parallel to the x axis and we can name it as 
KN. Next we have to mark the points W, X, Y and Z. So let us start. Let us mark W that is 2, 6. 2 on the X coordinate and 6 on the Y coordinate. So we have W, 2, 6. Next is X, 3, 5. That means X on the 3 on the X coordinate and 5 on the Y coordinate. Hence we have X, 3, 5. Next we have to mark Y, 5, 3. That means 5 on the X coordinate and 3 on the Y coordinate. We have Y, 5, 3. Now it remains to mark Z, 6, 2. That means 6 on the X coordinate and 2 on the Y coordinate. So we have Z, 6, 2. Now let us join the points. On joining the points W, X, Y and Z, we find that they lie on a line and we can name it as WZ or XY or WX, any ways we feel like.